How you going? So Capcom released another update for Dragon's Dogma 2. This is patch number six and it came out of the blue as always. It applies to PlayStation 5 users, Xbox Series S and X and Steam users with some additional features for the PC crowd. As you can see DLSS frame gen has been added and the issue with the invisible floor, the invisible terrain has been supposedly fixed. This is an overview video. We'll go through each and every entry on the patch to see what's been changed, to see what's what. Let's go. So the first one, increase the maximum number of items that can be put in the storage from 1000 to 3000. I don't know who needs that. I'm on my new game plus 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 now and as you can see I have 502 items in my storage. To be fair I did sell a lot of rubbish like goblin horns, knacker horns to get some extra money because I was printing eternal wake stones like crazy sending them out but I've never seen a message saying your storage is full so I don't know like in my case 1000 was more than enough and now it's 3000 so I guess it's good for people who like collecting stuff but what they didn't change though is item stacks you can't have multiple stacks of 99 items unfortunately still I mean maybe I am doing it wrong but as you can see here I've got 98 PT wort in my storage and I've got 2 PT wort in my bag and if I try transferring my 2 PT wort into the storage I got this message as always so you can only have one stack of 99 items so you can now have 3000 items in your storage but you can't have multiple stacks of items so I don't know it seems like a very useless change to me the next one's pretty cool actually fixed issues in which bandit eye patch and lordly eye patch were not available they are available now and they are obtainable through legit means you don't have to use mods to get them. I can confirm it with Lordly Eye Patch. You can get it from Zachary over at Excavation Sites, a merchant, and it costs 5,000 gold. You can buy it. This is how it looks like. I don't really like the way it looks, to be honest, but I'm just happy that it's obtainable now. When it comes to Bandit Eye Patch, unfortunately, I couldn't confirm it because apparently you can buy it from Hugo if he becomes a merchant in Bug Batal. And as some of you know, to make Hugo a merchant, you have to ruin one family. So in my current playthrough, a certain somebody is still alive. Unfortunately, there's still no news about comforting neck wrap. People say that you can buy it from a merchant that hangs out in Harv Village, but I couldn't find it. Though it's not mentioned in a patch, so... I guess in the next one... <laughs> This patch is for eyes only. Next, fixed issue with progression in the Guardian Gigantus quest becoming impossible after playing the cinematic. That never happened to me and I've never seen anyone complain about it. But as I always say, if there was an issue and it's fixed now, it's good. Never happened to me though. Fixed issues with Pawn's cosmetics appearing different in other players' worlds. That happened to me once, long time ago, long, long time ago. A friend of mine hired my Pawn and then messaged me asking why her lips are so purple. He said she looked like a drowner. Obviously she didn't have purple lips and the issue resolved itself prior to this patch. Again, long, long time ago. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage, but it never occurred. It never happened to me again. Fixed some additional issues where the main pawn speaks support pawns dialogue. This usually happens when you do a quest with multiple outcomes, for example, Jedi orb quest or Isaac's quest. And yeah, upon completion, sometimes your main pawn says something along the lines of my master did it differently and then makes you upset because you are the master. It happened to me a month ago, but no more after this patch from the 25th of April. As you can see, there was an entry fixed some issues where the main pawn speaks support pawns dialogue. So I don't know what this is about, but it never happened to me after the patch from the 25th of April. Miscellaneous bug fixes. I don't even know why they still bother adding it, but yeah, miscellaneous bug fixes. We don't know what that is, but there might be some sneaky changes just like with the previous ones. We need to play the game more to see what's been changed, but yeah, miscellaneous bug fixes. And lastly, let's talk about these DLSS frame generations been added into the vanilla game. It's in the graphic settings. You can find it there, toggle it on and off and basically generates some extra frames that you're losing to make it look smoother, to make it look less choppy. And in my experience, it doesn't feel any different from the mod everyone's been using since basically day one. I'm talking about the mod you can get on Nexus and lossless scaling app. I think it's really nice to have native DLSS frame gen built in. And I'm saying it as a not very tech savvy person. I'll be honest, I don't completely understand all the ins and outs and how it works. But in my opinion, frame generation in this case is a band-aid. It doesn't fix the frame loss. It makes 
your game look smoother. It makes it look like you're not losing frames. It's also worth mentioning that with this update, all the mods are now broken due to reframe work being in conflict with DLSS frame generation. Built-in frame generation causes reframe work to crash at the moment. It must be disabled. The issue is being looked at in the meantime. And lastly, they fixed issues where sometimes terrain wasn't displayed when using some graphic boards, graphic cards, I think they meant. Some people with Vega cards couldn't play the game due to that issue and unfortunately I don't have any friends who own Vega cards so if you have somebody with a Vega card please let us know if you can see your flaw now and before we wrap it up I'd also like to mention again that Capcom considers Dragon's Dogma 2 their key brand now alongside Resi Games, Monster Hunter and Street Fighter. Like I said in the previous video, I don't think we should expect anything major anytime soon, but since Dragon's Dogma 2 is a key brand now, something's definitely coming sooner or later. Also, there was this little live showcase a few days ago on Capcom's Japanese channel. I saw a tweet, it was all in Japanese, so I had to translate it into English via Google Translate. and it it said there that they will be talking about Dragon's Dogma 2 and Street Fighter 6, but unfortunately I couldn't understand a word <laughs> because I don't speak Japanese. I will leave a link in the description. You can check it out. Maybe they're talking about something interesting. Maybe they're talking about some plans. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.